Chad really hooked into this idea of trying to study John Wick through the situations of other characters, and he was really drawn to the good, the bad, and the ugly. And so enter Donnie Yen as Kane and Shamir Anderson as the tracker. We have Hiroyuki Sanada, who I worked with on 47 Ronin. He has a daughter who's working with him, and that's the incomparable Rina Sawayama. And then the antagonist of the piece, the Marquis, Bill Skarsgård. You're kind of following their stories as they're trying to get John Wick, and Kane and John Wick have a past. The Tracker is kind of a younger character who's kind of outside of it, who's not an assassin, but then gets kind of takes a deal to force to become an assassin and these characters come after John and then there's moments where we have to work together against the table. So that dynamic is a way of opening up the world. Who are these other characters that exist in this world? And then how do they interact with John and how does John interact with them? The training went longer than three months, and it was five days a week, four hours a day. So it was a two-hour morning session, lunch, two-hour afternoon session. And for me, it's just been awesome to work with these stunt people and just have what they shared with us was the affection that they have for the John Wick films. Because John Wick action is a little different. It's a lot. Because Chad wants reality. He wants Rex. He wants it to feel real. He wants the beautiful violence. And so do we, and so do they. But all of these people have just really taken care of me. If they like John Wick, they like him because Sharon likes him. And I think what Lance brought to the role of Sharon, even from the beginning, I think it wasn't even rehearsal. It was like we were on the set and we were kind of there and, and Lance said to Chad, I have this accent that I've always wanted to do. Chad was like, let's hear it. And so he did it. And then Chad was like, okay. And, and Lance was like, really? He was like, yeah. And so Sharon was born. And the elegance of that performance and that person and, you know, just kind of the heart of that character. You know, you feel it when John Wick walks into the, the hotel lobby the first time and he just kind of looks up. Having Ian McShane back, just such a joy to work with and such a unique and special talent person and getting a chance to act with him again and then how do we develop his story and then what organically came out of that. And it's nice to see McShane being part of Avenge and Revenge. The incredible Lawrence Fishburne as the Bowery King, where I had safe harbor. And for me personally, Fish is safe harbor. He's been such a mentor to me since working on The Matrix in 1997. So it's, you know, we have a friendship and it's cool to be working with him again. And what he brings to the Bowery King is so special. And who else could be the king? He's extraordinary in the sense of how he's grown, how he matriculates all of his inspirations and his knowledge and his practicality. So to me, he's the director. He's also got a great hand and ear for script and for producing production. He knows how movies get made. And here being on chapter four, you know, I, I say these John Wick films for Chad and I are like, we prepare a meal. We're the chefs and he's the head chef. I'm a sous chef. And then we would find the ingredients, we're putting it together. He's, and that partnership has been really fun and some of the best creative days for me.